With the addition of Shipment, Orion is now easier to unlock than ever. With this map, you are able to complete most of your camo challenges without even trying. You're also able to unlock camos in record time. You can go from zero progression weapon level zero to everything unlocked within less than an hour. That includes camo challenges. Here's how the map works. It's a square and it has four corners because that's how squares work. But each corner is a spawn point where you or the enemy will be spawning. If your team is spawning in one corner, the enemy team will be in the opposite corner. Sometimes spawns will be split and you will be spawning on one side of the map and the enemy on the opposite. Seems pretty simple, right? Well, not exactly. The spawns do flip all the time, causing a lot of chaos where sometimes you might spawn in front or beside the enemy themselves. They also do tend to rotate in a circular motion as teams push enemy spawns. Overall, the map does play incredibly fast. This means you will be dying lots, but you will also be getting a lot of kills, making progression on your weapons that much easier. A quick refresher on how the camo challenges work. Each weapon has four base camo challenges. Once you complete all four, you will then have access and be able to complete the gold camo challenge. In order to unlock platinum, you must complete the gold camo challenge on every weapon in a category. For example, Assault Rifles. Once you've gotten gold on 8 of them, you will then be able to work towards and complete the Platinum Challenge. To access and complete Polyatomic, the Platinum Challenge needs to be completed on 51 different weapons. It does not matter what 51 weapons they are, you can even replace some of the launchers, melees, or weapons you don't necessarily want to use with DLC guns. This does also work with the Polyatomic Challenge, where you need to complete 51 unique weapons. It does not matter what weapons these are, or what categories they're from, as long as you complete 51 of them, you are able to unlock Orion. If you're wanting to level up weapons as fast as possible, Shipment is the place to do so. In your custom class, make sure you have decoy grenades, as well as the DDoS field upgrade. Anytime they're available, you're going to want to throw your decoy grenades and pop your DDoS to affect enemies around you. You will notice you will get lots of XP while using these, and all that XP will count towards your weapons. At the same time you're doing this, you're going to be getting lots of kills, and if you're in objective game modes, you should be completing the objective because picking up dog tags, capturing flags, or holding hard points will all give you extra XP towards your weapon, leveling them up that much faster. And because Shipment is such a small map, not only are you going to be getting lots of kills on objectives, your teammates are going to be giving your weapon extra XP because your decoy grenade and DDoS effects are going to cover the entire map. Since Shipment allows you to get so many kills, it is extremely easy to complete your camo challenges. Here are the simple ones and how to complete them. Kills. All you need to do is kill the enemy. Kills with a suppressor. On your attachment slot for your muzzle, make sure you have a suppressor equipped. Kills from behind. Make sure when killing the enemy, they have their backs turned towards you. Aim down sight kills. Kill them while aiming down sight. This should be easy since 99% of your gunfights anyway, you should already be doing this. Akimbo kills. With pistols, make sure you have the akimbo attachment equipped. One shot kills. Kill the enemy using only one bullet. The guns that you are required to do this on will be shotguns, marksman rifles, and sniper rifles. On shipment, you should be getting one-shot kills for almost every kill anyway. The reason we skipped by these challenges is because of how easy and straightforward they are to complete. There genuinely should be no struggle or confusion while doing these. Now let's dive into the camo challenges that shipment makes easier to complete. Hipfire kills. Don't aim down sight while killing the enemy. You can use attachments that will increase your hip fire accuracy, your recoil control, to make things a little bit easier. One thing I always recommend is a laser sight, since it makes it easier to know where you're shooting. The closer you are to the enemy will also make it easier to get hip fire kills since you will be more accurate. Point blank kills require you to be less than a meter away from the enemy, and since this map is so chaotic, there will be tons of gunfights where you are point blank face to face to your enemy. This will happen very frequently while rushing through the enemy spawns or the middle of the map. The three camo challenges you won't be able to avoid at all that require you to enact a specific action are prone, crouch, and mounted kills. This map makes these a little bit difficult since of how fast paced and small it is. However, in each four corners of the map, there is some form of debris or cover you can use to your advantage. 
lie down beside them to make prone kills easier, crouch beside them for crouch kills, or you can mount on them for mounted kills. When it comes to crouch kills, you can also crouch around the map and find enemies just because of how small it is. Prone kills are a little bit more difficult since you can't crawl around the map with getting efficient kills. I tend to pick one corner of the map, lay down, and let the enemies come to me. With mounted kills, you're able to mount anywhere around the map, and if you have a bipod, you can even mount while prone. Take advantage of the debris, the barrels, and the corners of the crates to get your mounted kills done, and if you ever have a weapon that needs prone and mounted kills, you can use that bipod while in prone to get both camel challenges done at the same time, and the same thing goes with crouch kills. As long as you're doing both actions, both camel challenges will simultaneously be completed. Not everyone is going to choose to do them since DLC weapons can now replace them, but if you do the launcher challenges, Shipman makes them extremely easy to complete. You only have one base challenge, and that's kills. With the RPG, Strela, and Pila, you are able to free fire the rockets wherever you please, but with the Joker, you do need to lock on to a specific area in order to shoot that rocket. But because shipment is just big enough to lock on to opposite corners, you are able to shoot your rocket up into the air, and because of the high explosive damage that it carries, you will be able to get kills very easily with all launchers. For your gold camo challenge, two kills in a single life is extremely easy to do, since most kills are going to be double kills within this map. With your platinum challenge, shooting down streaks isn't going to be the easiest thing ever. It's a very chaotic map, so lots of UAVs and counter UAVs are always going to be active, which is great news. You get to shoot them down. But keep in mind, the enemies are also running around the map trying to get as many kills possible, so while locking on to anything, you may die a lot, which is frustrating, but it is possible to do. And your polyatomic challenge is double kills, and just like gold, a lot of your kills are going to be double kills anyway, making this challenge extremely easy to complete. If you ever decide to do the melee challenges, it's basically the same as the launchers. Your base challenge is getting kills. Running around the map with how small it is makes kills a lot easier, and if you're ever struggling, don't forget you can use stun grenades, flash grenades, smoke grenades, or anything to disorient the enemies to help benefit you. For gold, you have to get two kills within a single life. Just don't die while getting two kills. For platinum, you have to get two kills within 10 seconds. This is so astronomically easy to complete considering you can get normal double kills just while playing the game, and you don't need a lot of them as well. Sometimes you die, spawn, and kill an enemy within under 10 seconds with this map just because of how small it is. The polyatomic challenge for the melees is getting kills from behind or backstab medals. This can be a little bit challenging since everyone tends to face their backs to the wall and always looks at the middle of the map. If you use those stuns and equipment to help you or catch enemies on bad rotations, these also become extremely easy to complete. Multi-kills are also way too easy to complete on this map, and those consist of double kills, which are two rapid kills in quick succession, or two kills within 10 seconds for some of those longer range weapons like the sniper rifles. You will be getting so many double kills and multi-kills on this map, you genuinely won't ever have to worry about getting two kills specifically, since they will happen naturally as long as you're using that specific weapon that has the challenge. Once you've completed the four base challenges for bullet weapons, you will then have access to the gold challenge, which is getting three kills in a single life ten times. Now, this does seem pretty easy on paper, but you have to keep into consideration you're playing on shipment and it's chaotic. You will be dying lots and there will be tons of times where you will be two kills in and die just about to get your third. If you're ever struggling, slow down your pace of play, use those corners of the map to your advantage, and get those three kills in a single life. Unfortunately, when it comes to platinum and getting long shots, not every single category of weapon can get long shots on this map. If you have a weapon that you need long shots on, say like a sniper, and it's quite literally impossible to do that on shipment, go either play in the tier one mode, or if you like those bigger ground war maps, ground war and invasion will work out fantastic. The final mastery challenge you'll ever have to complete before Orion is polyatomic, and that's just getting 25 headshots per weapon. A lot of people ask me, hey, I'm struggling with headshots, what should I do? It's quite as simple as aim for the head. You're not going to be getting headshots if you're aiming at their body. 
And if you're ever struggling to hit their head because the gun's accuracy isn't that good, then use attachments that will increase your recoil control, make the gun more accurate, increase bullet velocity, or damage range. And after all of that's completed, then you will finally unlock Orion, and that's genuinely how easy it is to get, especially with shipments. So let's do a quick little crash course review. The map's small, which allows you to get a lot of kills, with camo challenges that are pretty basic to complete, and shipment allows you to complete camo challenges at a faster rate than ever before, and because the map is so small, there are some camo challenges that used to be hard on some of the bigger 6v6 maps like hipfire and point blank kills, which are now easier to get than ever. On top of that, you can complete a gun within under an hour, except for long shots which you may have to go somewhere else to complete unless you're doing pistols or shotguns. That being said, bye.